Hey friends, thrift haul. Sue had a doctor's appointment this morning and she was in the mood to thrift and I hardly can stand not to go either if you're if you're within like two minutes of really good thrift stores. So we, we hit three thrift stores and uh, made it home just before the rain, but I did get rained on a little bit after I got her back into her house. So uh, hence ponytails and stuff. There's one thing I wanted to show you that was not from today, but it's so cute. Oh my word, look at this. Now I put the grass and the eggs in it. $3.99, little handmade, homemade cart. The wheels are wobbly as I'll get out, um, but this is adorable and I feel like it needs to have some kind of little reins uh, up over the shoulders of a rabbit. Surely I've got a rabbit that that would look good <laughs> pulling. <laughs> Let me set it up here. Okay. Okay. So cute. Three ninety nine. It, it's it's my duty to preserve handmade vintage things like that. The nails are rusty that it was put together with. So, you know, there's no telling how old it is. 50 years old, who knows how old it is? Who knows, who knows, who knows? Okay. Speaking of old things, this $2. I love it, it says cake. Oh, is this 1950s goodness? Is that what we're seeing? Or is it 40s? I don't know, but it's aluminum and I love it and I think it's adorable and I will have to work that into some kind of decor. All right, um, pink stickers were 75% off. So what is 75% of $1.50? Did I pay a quarter for this? Half of it. <laughs> I don't know, I can't do that. That's too complicated for my, my brain. But in the same spirit of the photo collage that I did the things, I thought I might try another something sort of like that because it's a really pretty little ornate frame and I thought it might be cute with some inserts and some little tiny vintage things displayed on it. You know, obviously can't leave well enough alone. Um, well, you know, when you start, when you start doing something, it, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by Ella. Ella, seriously? Um, evidently, she has learned how to scratch her booty on the back of my 100-year-old footlocker tool chest. Whatever. Okay, well, okay, I'll take part blame. It is time for another flea pill for you. All right, 99 cents, and I don't know if you can tell it's Little Mermaids. That's, that's going to be so cute on some grandbaby's head. I mean the girls. Not, not ruckus and chaos, the twins. They, they would not be good. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this. This was, I believe it was $4.99, but it's just a really good stool. And it will be a little more secure in my laundry room than the tiny one I have now. The tiny one I have now is probably more suited to being a little riser somewhere, like for decor. This one is a lot bigger surface. I can't, I can't reach all the way to the... I have a, a Whirlpool Cabrio top loader because it was the largest capacity that you could get. And I can wash big, huge quilts and comforters in it. But if I'm just standing flat on the floor, I can't reach the bottom. Like if the, the socks and stuff that are the small, tiny items that are stuck to the bottom, I, I can't reach them. I have, to, I have to have a stool these days. Okay. And um, I can't lift this a whit or a bit. I guess I'm just going to tilt my little camera down. File cabinet. It's $14. But everything at that thrift store, this was from Graceworks, and everything was, it's on wheels. Can you see that? Everything was 25% off today. So I paid less than, than $14. Um, I have a spot in my kitchen that I feel like will be, oh, sorry. I have a spot that I feel like will be better served. It's behind a curtain anyway. And I've been thinking for a while, wouldn't it be nice if I had a file cabinet to go under there because it's a deep spot. 
just an odd little place and I can't get to my stuff. And so everything just gets mushed in there and then I can't get, I have no idea what's in the very back. You know, I, I lose track of what's back there. And then I'm just using the stuff that's on the very front. It needs, I need a better system. So we're gonna try that. Okay, this was a dollar and this, I'm not doing a basket wall um, currently, but Olivia, I gave the baskets that I had on my basket wall, I let her have them in her house so that she can, so that she can do a basket wall and it's looking really cute and she's got room to add to it. I don't know what that is. Um, so there's another one to go to her. She's liking just the round things, just, just the most round ones. Now, somebody tell me why I felt like it was necessary for me to have a little white gavel. It makes no sense. I mean, I don't need this, I, but it does look very vintage. It's in the original box that says a Gibson gavel, bench crafted in USA, and it's actually beautiful. I'm not sure why you'd need a gavel to be so fancy. What sort of occasions are there to need a fancy gavel with ribbons tied to it? Is there some kind of festival going on that I don't know about? Anyway, it was a dollar, so I thought that was a great idea for me to have that because obviously <laughs> I do have a couple of old gavels that are with my husband's reenactment stuff. Um, they do period correct things and they have a great time doing kangaroo court, which is just something funny that they do for the, you know, among themselves. I mean, if you ever mess up and do something that you are embarrassed about, you'll probably be called up to kangaroo court to uh, have to defend yourself for your actions. It, it's, it's happened to my husband, my sons. It's, it's, it's all in fun and it's really fun. But I mean, I can't see them using that one, but they do have some old ones. Okay, $1.50 uh, for yet for more fondue forks. I, you know, I'm gonna be ready for um, the entire community to come have fondue, I guess. But I don't know, they're just so pretty with the little wood and the colorful little markers on them and everything. And I'm just like, well, you know what? If I'm gonna try to have a lot of fondue forks together, well, let's just have a lot of fondue forks. So, you know, because everybody needs a lot of fondue forks. One dollar for this piece of fabric that has been hemmed all the way around. Very neat, careful, little teeny tiny stitches. So good. Feel certain this is from a flower sack. It looks very flower sack material and it's pretty and I have no idea what I'll do with it, but you know, I do things with this stuff and it is my job to preserve it. If I find things that are truly vintage from the 1940s, I'm, I'm you know, I mean, unless it's like a cow castrator, I'm, I'm not gonna leave it there. I won't be bringing home crazy farm implements. I mean, never say never, but I don't think I would bring that home. But if I find things like that, you know, I love fabric. I think that's why I love the Vera Bradley purses and totes and luggage and all that is because the quilted fabric just appeals to my love of fabric and love of quilts in so many ways. Um, so, but you know, I'm proud of myself. I have not purchased anything new Vera Bradley. I mean, when I say new, I get my Vera Bradley at the Pigeon Forge, Tennessee uh, outlet. The Tanger outlets have a Vera Bradley store. And a lot of times you'll find stuff 50, 60, 75% off in there. So if I'm gonna buy a new piece, I wait until we're going to Tennessee and that's where I'll get my stuff. Or when I was really addicted to Vera Bradley, I was buying my stuff on eBay. And that was the days before Facebook Marketplace. I haven't even really looked since Facebook Marketplace came out. I had some Diet Mountain Dew with a pretty high caffeine content in it. So, you know, if I sound like I'm talking 90 miles an hour, that would be why. That would be why. Okay, here's a couple of books that are from the 1960s. The Sailor in the Bottle. I thought this would be good, stacked with some of my other blue things for the Americana. And this, The Generous Years. Uh, I forgot now. It seemed very interesting. Oh, I can't resist, but just to remind myself, Remembrances of a Frontier Boyhood. Okay, I'm all about frontier things like Laura Ingalls and all that. So, um, not only do I love old books 
for their looks and their decor value. I love old books because I actually read them. I love to read and I don't want to forget about the joy of reading an actual book with pages to turn and you can smell the old smell coming out of these books and realize that we have not always lived in an electronic and a digital age. Okay, now I'm not even pretending to give identity to where I got things, but I did go, the, the three places I went were all in Gunnersville. I went to Graceworks, I went to Goodwill, and we went to the home place. Now, what I paid, $2.99. He's a little bright on the beak and on the feet. So I think I can, um, I think I can refresh him to make him not quite so neon on the colors there. Although he's not bad, $2.99, and he's not bad. He's not offensive, but you know, it's hard for me to resist. It's hard for me to resist painting things. If I feel like I can do a new thing painting. Oh, this is so fun. These are fun, these are fun. Okay, um, where's the other two? There they are. Okay, you know, my bedroom has Sherwin-Williams Oak Moss is the color green of my bedroom, and it took me years to finally settle on a color because I just, it, it's been, it was neutral for years. It was like an off, a creamy off-white color, and I just wanted some color in there. You know, if you live in a house long enough, you kind of go through phases and moods. So I've got the green in there, and then, um, found these and I've never particularly loved butterflies but tell you what I do love I love things that are hand embroidered there's four of these and they've been hand embroidered and I love that they're on this green fabric and someone has <laughs> stapled it on kind of crazy paid a dollar each for the four for the four so four dollars for the set of four and um I love that the, the texture is so thick. These will be going in my bedroom some kind of way, some kind of place, but I love them and I think they're precious. Oh, that one's kind of coming apart. I can fix it. Precious, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay. I have no blooming idea what I will do with this, but it seemed to me to have potential for um, crafting supplies. You know, when I sit and Joel asked me just last night, he says, Mom, don't you have like two crafting rooms in this house that's not the middle of the dining room table? I said, I do. I do have two crafting rooms in the middle, uh, I mean in the house that's not the middle of the dining room table, but um, I kind of like to be near where everything's going on. Um, sometimes I need my time apart, but I just kind of make a mess on the dining room table and then when it's time for a big meal of all our family together, I just have to clear stuff off. And this is just the way I live, it's okay. But I'm thinking that while I'm working on projects, this would be really handy to have glue sticks and the little bits and pieces of what I'm working on. I paid $1.49. And even if it was on a basket wall, that's, that's like an interesting shape to me. So I'll either truly use it or it'll be, uh, I'll, I will allow Olivia to use that, that would, you know, for her basket wall. That'd be fine with me. Okay, $2.99 because it looks like a very, look, it's very compact. And they did test it. I didn't test it myself because they said they tested it on February 28th. And um, I don't know what brand this is, uh, but this is Curl Master. What I really thought was that this might be handy to keep while I'm doing my craft things. Sometimes I want to quickly dry a coat of chalk paint or something so that I can just immediately go on to the next step, whether, you know, after chalk paint, sometimes you just want to immediately go ahead and put the wax on it and that kind of thing. So that's good. Okay, this was March $6.99, but red tags were half price. Uh, at the Graceworks thrift store. So I paid $3.50 for this very old thermos. And <laughs> that makes that makes a grouping of four old thermoses. I just have the one plaid thermos. Oh, no, no, I have a plaid thermos in red, and then I have the green plaid thermos. And then I have a solid 
light green Stanley, and this is a solid blue. I don't know if it is old, if it's not old. It looks kind of vintagey, maybe not. I mean, for all I know, Walmart could be selling this exact thing, you know, right this minute. I don't think they are. I'm not sure if they are. I don't know, and I don't care because it looks old to me, and I want to group it with my other ones, and I like it. Okay, now, this is not an interesting thrift find, but it's just one of those things. I've got, the bed in my Grandma Moses' room is a full-size mattress, which, long story how I inherited that from, from another house in my family. Um, but it's a full-size bed, and, and I swanee. The sheets, every full-size set of sheets that I have put on it can't stay on. They, it sli slips and slides, and I'm having the worst irritated time, so I'm going to immediately wash these. It was marked $4.99, but red tags have priced $2.50 for a full sheet set, and I was willing to try their stretchy, their, their that jersey, the knit stuff, willing to see if I could get them to stay on the mattress, because, you know, I don't love making up beds when there's not a sheet problem. I don't love to make up the bed when all the ingredients and layers have not come up off the corners. Now that's just not acceptable. That's not a good quality of life. So we're gonna try that and see if we can do better. Okay. All right. A couple of books for myself. Stay right here. I think I've read it before. But um it's, it's just pretty, I like it. So I'm gonna read it again. Um, Cause I don't, if I do have a copy of it, I have no idea where it would be. And here's a little Stuart Little from the early 70s. I think it said 1972. And uh, I think that that's sweet. The illustrations are very sweet. E.B. White. I think the illustrations. Uh, Garth Williams is the illustrator of the Little House on the Prairie series. So for Garth Williams, these, these illustrations by Garth Williams are their, their tops, the number one to me, love it. Okay, the other two books I got for my son-in-law who is a history teacher, he teaches middle school history and he just said on Saturday, if you come across good books about history, any kind of history, he teaches world history, um, <laughs> But he said, really, any era, any any geographical area, anything, if you come across it, pick it up for him. So he will be glad to know that he is now going to be the owner of a Napoleon book. I really think A. The Graders would enjoy the way this is illustrated. It has really big photographs and illustrations. It's photographs of art and things like tapestry and stuff. I don't know. Was it what I paid to, to something? And then the other one is First Ladies, which um, I assume United States President's Wives. Is that the First Ladies we're talking about? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my. Okay. All right. So that's for Will. Where can I put that? Put that over there. Okay. I have no blooming idea of what I thought I was going to do with that, but for 99 cents, it's got really sturdy wire in it, and I felt like it would be <clears throat> really good as an anchor for a vignette. You know, sometimes when you're doing a little grouping of decor, you just need something to group things onto and to let some greenery flow from one place on it to the edge. Or something I just I just thought it was really sturdy and good for 99 cents so um, and I would put it on a basket wall but I think Olivia's looking only for round pieces so speaking of a round piece this came from the Target dollar spot for five dollars but I paid two dollars and I'm thinking that um, you know Yvonne, you bet, you bet, Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. Sweet lady, I love to watch her. Uh, she she says everybody, every crafter and painter needs a Lazy Susan to do their crafts on so that they can turn 
their thing around, and I think she's right. And I've been I've been looking out for one. I didn't want to pay like fifteen dollars for one, but uh, two dollars, yes, please. That would be great. All right, <clears throat> what else? This looks. It's got these little tiny nails and a very old timey looking wire on it. Did I pay two ninety nine or three ninety nine? I don't know what I paid, but it looks quite old and sweet. Let me get closer so you can appreciate the cuteness. It is uh, a little wintry scene. Might go to my booth. Not sure. Sure is cute. I really like it. We're kind of past winter now, <clears throat> so it may not be a big seller in my booth. It may go with my winter decor. That's fine. $1.99, look how cute that is. And I just put out a couple of green wood distressed frames that uh, this will be really cute with the grouping of them. And I'll put another picture of family, babies, something, something, something. Okay, for 99 cents, little wood, actually this was 79 cents, little wood easels, you know. Always, always useful. I like the wood ones um, that fold this way. You can get plastic ones, but you know, the wood ones are just prettier, sturdier. Came from Michaels and somebody paid for something, $4.99 originally. Okay, <clears throat> just useful. And for a girl named Marla, whose name starts with M and who loves old books, look at the hair. 99 cents for a wooden block that has a, bo a book cover. Look at the little deer, a little fawn. That's so sweet. Oh my goodness, I'm putting it up on my, up on my mantle right now because it looks like the colors and the uh, vibe of springtime. I'm not leaving that little cart back there. I just put it there so it wouldn't get destroyed. Because, you know, my doggy likes to chew wooden things randomly. I don't, I don't know why, which things are irresistible to her, but some things are. Now, I was really actually just thinking about this, and, you know, suddenly it came home with me. Sometimes I do that. This, evidently, P-L-A-Y are the letters that I have. So, I don't know. I could make it spell something else. I could sand that right off, paint over it, decoupage, I don't know. But um, it's very cute. And it might actually have C-A-I-N put onto it because, you know, my family, my name. But look at this. It's got a really cute little jute cord someone made. And I paid $1.99 for the four pieces. And originally from Hobby Lobby, each of these pieces has a $1.99 tag on it. Not that I would have paid that. But, you know. Well, I mean, I don't know if it was important to me in that day. Okay. I don't know. This looks like it probably came from Dollar Tree. If it did, I never saw when they were there. But it's brand new. And I also just paid 99 cents. And that's pretty cute. But I might pop it off and put something else that I don't know. But I thought it was cute enough that I'm going to work on the frame and let it become a little bit more like... It, it's got some embossed wood grain on it. You see that? You can tell that it's embossed in there, but it doesn't look like wood grain. It needs it needs one or two more little steps to make it look a little bit more like actual wood, but I love the shape, the cathedral gothic looking window shape. I think that's very cute. Okay, am I almost done? Let's see, what else? What other goodness have I got for today? This, this was half price, so marked one dollar, I would have paid just 50 cents. And it's the tiniest little wood shelf, and I think I'm going to put this under, I've got an idea for it, under a picture with some teeny tiny little things on it. You know, I'm really into shelves lately. I mean, fads come and go, styles come and go. It may occur to me one day that I have a shelf under every blooming mirror, 
above every blooming piece of furniture in the house. But you know, it, it kind of doubles your uh, your surface area for displaying your pretty little things. So for now, I'm loving little shells and I love hanging them under a picture or under a mirror or in a, a little tiny spot somewhere and put little things. It's just for fun, you know. None of, none of this is crucial. None of this is all about having fun. This is all about the fun. All right. Speaking of all about the fun. <laughs> Someone has little rings like they would hang it on a wall. I don't think I would. I think what this needs is to have little tiny uh, Christmas miniatures put on it. Um, I'm thinking little elves or little somethings and some little greenery, little pieces of, of evergreen somethings on there. It, it seems Christmassy to me, but you know, I could also put little, I've got little rabbits. I've got some little rabbits. I could use this somewhere for, for uh, spring and Easter, put the rabbits on it. Okay, what else? Ninety-nine cents for a brass candle snuffer. You know, put it right out. The beauty of doing it this way is that when a candle has been burning a while and it's got liquefied, melted candle up around the wick, if you blow it hard, a lot of times that wet liquid candle will just spray out and you've got wax everywhere. This has some somebody. Somebody has dipped this into the wax as well, but the better thing about this is if you can put it out in this way, it it avoids the splash effect. Now, um, I, I'm sure I already have enough honey dippers, but that's going to look really adorable in my tiny little crock with tiny little wooden um, kitchen utensils. So, not at all necessary. Just fun. Okay. Now, this thing, I thought it was wood carved, but I'm pretty sure that that's some kind of embossed leather. Paid $4.99. It's truly wood. But you can't really see the detail super, super distinctly. So I'm, I'm probably going to do a coat of white wax over this and display it kind of open with some cute little vintage things in there. Oh, there's one more. Let me go across the room and get one more thing from the other day. The same day that I found the little, uh, I'm calling it a goat cart. I don't know if it's a goat cart, but that old cart. I also found these. Somebody comment and tell me what in the world these would be, if not just toy bowling pins. Like, I mean, they're different sizes though, but can you see anything that would give you reason to believe that they're used for something else? I love them like crazy. I think they're adorable, and I think that they probably are little vintage rolling pins, not rolling pins, uh, bowling pins. Like, that maybe went with a toy set. I mean, I can't imagine what else they would be. If not that, what are they? I don't know. Okay, last item. And... Okay. This blast from the past, can we, can we not? Can we not glare? Okay. Tested. $2.99, but red tags were half price. I wish that wouldn't do that. Okay. Can you see the in, embossed? Doesn't that look old timey? This is a pen crest from J.C. Penny. I wonder what year. <laughs> this is the heaviest toaster I have ever lifted in my entire life. I do have a toaster, but I'm I'm not impressed with it. I'm not I'm not in love with it. I do believe I bought it in a moment of Gotta have a toaster moment at Dollar General and, you know, probably paid like eight to ten dollars, whatever they cost at Dollar General. And I don't love it that much, but I certainly do love vintage. I love vintage ones. So I will, I'm truly going to use it. I mean, 
it looks ancient of days. It looks old, and it's got <laughs> it's got an old timey looking little plug. But it has been tested, and I am going to use it because I think it's adorable. And I would rather have an old one than than the the cheap version of modern one. All right. This, this gives me a lot more fuel for my uh, DIY videos, for my 10 plus, 12 plus. We'll see how many, we'll see how many I can get up to. Uh, I have a lot of fun doing those and uh, I'm working on one as we speak, but this thrift haul video will be easier to, to get done and produce and post before the next DIY one. So, this is for me. Today is Monday afternoon. We're having a rainy time here in North Alabama. Wherever you are, stay safe. And let's pray for the troubles and the people all over the world that are having troubles. That just breaks my heart. But, you know, let not your heart be troubled. Trust in the Lord always. And I'll see you in a few days with my next video.